give the call to the order. Give the call to the member for Adelaide. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Industry and Science. How is the Albanese Labor government changing previous approaches to revitalise manufacturing, sharpen Australia's technology edge, and deliver skilled, high-paid jobs? I give the call to the Minister for Industry and Science. Zero week. Thanks, Speaker. Uh, I want to thank the member for Hindmarsh for that question because he knows ours is a government that wants to deliver a future made in Australia. Our people possess in spades the know-how to get stuff done in tough circumstances and they can show the rest of the world how to get that done too. And I was reminded of that potential this week, meeting the cohort of students that are off to compete in the International Science Olympiad, the, uh, the others that are about to uh, get involved or have been involved in the National Youth STEM Summit, as well as the first ever intake of Indigenous science grads at the CSIRO that the member for Canberra and I visited today at Black Mountain. Now, these students, recent graduates, they're going to be the researchers, the scientists, the skilled workers and future industry leaders. And we can put that enormous talent to work if we rebuild manufacturing and open up economic opportunity through the things we are doing as a government today. So we know there is a lot to do. We're not wasting any time in revitalising Australian manufacturing and sharpening the nation's technology edge. That's why setting up the $15 billion National Reconstruction Fund matters. That's why the $392 million industry growth program announced in the budget matters. That's why putting together plans for tech, like the National Quantum Strategy to drive future growth and support industry, that matters. That's why uh, making headway towards our goal of 1.2 million Australians in tech-related jobs matters. Uh, and that's why also refreshing our national science priorities to help guide our scientists and researchers matters. Now, we've mined and farmed our way to a lot of money, but the next chapter in future growth uh, is going to focus on the value add. It's about us doing more with what we've got and doing more of it on shore. But what we're not about is chasing manufacturers out of the country like that mob did, driving out jobs, pressuring communities. It's not about putting together suddenly a manufacturing grants program that gets spent in the weeks leading into an election like the Liberal and National parties did. And you'd think, after a decade of chaos and neglect, Speaker, that they would have learnt their lessons, but the Liberal Order. and National parties have not. Look at their track record the in opposition. The Liberal we'll and National parties refused to back the National Reconstruction Fund to help manufacturers. They refused to back in lower, uh, refused to back in lower energy prices to help manufacturers. They refused to back better wages for low-paid blue-collar workers. The only time the Liberal and National parties ever want to talk about manufacturing is if there's a TV camera present or a lame social media meme to be made. We deserve better than that, and that is what the Order. government is the absolutely delivering. Has yeah.